Okay guys, this is the very last video of my high frequency vacuum tube Tesla coil before I just take it apart and build a much bigger vacuum tube Tesla coil. Uh, anyways, uh, so this is the GU81M tube that I've been using. Uh, it's pretty beefy, it can handle up to 700 watts of power. Uh, we have our voltage doubler down there. We have that diode right there. We have this little uh, soft start resistor. It's actually just some nichrome wire wrapped around a wooden cube. And it uh, has a value of around two ohms. We have the switch right here to turn on from, from the uh, resistor to the full power. And we have the grid leak resistor right here. All this is for is to uh, ensure that the tube grid does not go over a certain voltage. Uh, this is a capacitor bank down here. It measures to about 300 picofarads. Uh, it's only a replacement until I get uh, some Soviet capacitors later on. What's the most interesting part about this coil is that the former itself is 3D printed. Uh, it took about 8 hours to print. I did it myself in CAD. Uh, also, the breakout point needs to have a graphite rod on top right here. So what I did was I got a graphite rod out of a battery and then carved down at the tip because it's so soft to a little breakout point right here. Then I drilled a hole down the center of it and stuck it on this copper piece right here that sticks out. Uh, this thing is powered by uh, the Variac back here. It pulls about 500 watts and there's a filament transformer down here. Uh, it produces 12.6 volts at 10 amps for the tube itself. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, let's give this a go. Okay, it's plugged in right there. Uh, I'm just waiting for the tube to preheat completely and then I'll switch it on to full power. Meh, good enough. There we go. All right, here we go. Okay, let me give it some power. You can right hear it humming. Maybe a bit more power. Okay. Doesn't really like to break out. Come on. There you go. 